Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to Stars with Stassi, where no matter who or what you are on this cosmic journey, you are welcome here. Greetings, I'm Stassi, your trusted psychic and intuitive reader. This is a mid-September reading for my lovely fire signs, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and of course, cross watchers are always welcome. Please keep in mind, these are general messages and may not resonate. So take what is for you and leave the rest for someone else. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And to my returning subscribers and members, welcome back. I do have two contests now, which is new for um, one for my Instagram page at Stars with Stassi and also one on my community page on YouTube. It gives you an opportunity as a follower or subscriber to win a free reading and the contest rules are posted and those contests are pinned to the top of each of those pages that I mentioned. All right, guys, without further ado, I'm going to tap in, but please do remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and please leave a comment. It helps my channel grow, and it lets me know that I'm tapped in with the collective. All right, guys, here we go. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides, and interdimensional beings overseeing this act of divination for Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising. Please give me the highest and best messages, spirit. Thank you. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what we have going on. Lots of changes coming up at the end of this month. <clears throat> Excuse me. A couple of things to talk about. We do have Mercury and that went direct today, I believe is the 15th. So it did go direct. You're going to start feeling a lot of forward movement, a lot of pressure to get things done, um, especially now that we are in the busy season, right? We, this is for mid-September to October 1st. So we are also going to have Mercury going direct. Like I just said, we're going to have Jupiter going into retrograde. And then we have a full moon in Aries at the end of this month. And that's definitely going to give you the confidence you need to do that next thing, which for you has to do with your money. All right. So spirit of the river movement towards adventure number 50 reduces to the number five and zero. Five is a card of disruption, a number of shaking things up where zero is the limitless possibilities. And this is about having experiences and adventures. So I do see you doing some things towards the end of this year, maybe a little bit of a long weekend or a little travel. Be mindful that you're gonna want to set in extra time for travel and possible delays. So don't overpack your schedule when you do decide to plan your trip. Repairing the veil, forgiveness number 45, which reduces to the number nine. This is telling me that in the next two weeks, you may be challenged with some tough conversations or tough realizations of things that you need to address verbally with someone who is close to you or someone who was close to you. There is forgiveness to be had and it's about your perception, Sagittarius. One thing to keep in mind is that forgiveness is a one-way street. No one needs to know how you are feeling because how you feel is your business and their perceptions are their business. So remember, that doesn't mean that you have to allow someone back into your life or make them feel better about something that you perceive was a wrongdoing towards you, but this is in fact letting it go and starting something new and fresh. It could be that you do it alone or that you do it with this person you are forgiving or the situation. That is up to you and it really depends on what your heart song says. Skywriting the fate number 49, which reduces to the number 13. 13 in the major art or in the um, <clears throat> major arcana is this death card, Scorpio energy. That's all about death, transformation, rebirth letting go of things that are old, right? So that's this, letting go of this old past hurt and wound and perception and stepping into a brand new reality because you've done the work and you understand there are better days ahead. You would not put yourself in the same position again that you had in the past because you know better. The, the fates, this is all divinely guided, all of the spiritual road bumps you've been experiencing, so to speak. <clears throat> also, in terms of the, um, pardon me, in terms of the major arcana, the 13, which is Scorpio energy, reduces to the number four, which is the emperor, all right? Emperor is Aries energy, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio or an Aries, something to think about there. And then we have number 31. So what's fascinating are these two cards reduced to the same thing. We have Scorpio energy, Aries energy, we have forgiveness, we also have in the hand, the universe is your partner. This is just a reminder, all right, Sagittarius, that everything happens 
in your favor, for your benefit. The perception of anything other than that is just that, a perception that you have the authority to fix. All right. Because of course, as look, the sun is at the bottom of the deck. Definite confirmation for spirit that better days are ahead. That's Leo energy as well. So you could be dealing with a Leo. One second, please. We're going to do a nine card spread here. All right. So what came out so far, we've got the queen of cups and we've got heartbreak, third party energy, pain, sorrow. So you could be dealing with a water sign. All right, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This usually shows up as, this is a Cancer. However, I always read her as Scorpio. And here we have third-party energy. It could be some type of deceit or lie or something that you felt worked against you. One moment. And we've got Eight of Wands also. So in this beginning half of the month, right, right towards this uh, fifth, like the 16th, 17th, right around here, I do have you taking a bold forward movement and making changes and taking action to make something different happen for you. All right, we've got judgment at the bottom of the deck. Again, I feel like you guys are, are, are really unveiling, or what is it called? Seeing the truth of the matter. I'm expecting to see the Ace of Swords. One moment. Let's see what else. And we're going to clarify all of these things because the Queen of Cups, it, you know, it could ne it doesn't necessarily have to be someone in your life. It could be that you are looking at things with a new emotional perspective. One moment. We've got the Four of Wands. This is a card of family, community, marriage. We also have the Six of Pentacles, equal give and take, and the Judgment card, being called to do your divine thing, right? Being called by your highest self to step into a more, I would say, um, first of all, I really do see you guys coming to terms with who you are now. I feel like there's been a lot of changes for you, Sagittarius, and, you've, and you definitely see things differently. And so as a result, the people around you are changing, where you live is changing, where you work is changing. You know, you're probably finishing up some other activities. We've got King of Pentacles. I feel like you're really rethinking conventional ideas because the King of Pentacles is a card of convention, tradition, marriage, um, the way society is, societal norms. That's how the King of Pentacles shows up. Queen of Swords, this is air energy. You could be dealing with an air sign or it could be that you are letting go of past traditional mindsets. Page of Wands. This is a lot of creativity and excitement. Some of you guys may be getting back into something like whatever your artistry is, whether it be writing or crafting, um, music, it could be a number of things. Whatever creative thing that you do, I see you stepping into that more towards the end of this month, right around the full moon. And then we have Ace of Pentacles. It's very possible that your creative thing is going to bring you an unexpected stream of income. So don't lose sight of that, Sagittarius. All right, we're going to clarify these cards here, Spirit. What can you tell me? I've got the King of Wands clarifying the Queen of Cups. That's fascinating. So this is Leo energy and a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Again, this is usually a Cancer card. This also comes across as Scorpio when I read it. So this could be your family unit or because I see a King of Wands. That's Leo energy. And this is usually a player energy, someone who's very much into their, um, to, into their own needs and desires. So you might be finding a balance between what it is that you desire and what it is that your responsibilities are asking you to do. That's one way to read this. Or these could be two literal people. They could be parental figures or people under your household, roommates, or coworkers. All right, so it looks like there might have been some disruption amongst that in your family or household. One moment, please. All right. Two cards here. We've got... The King of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Thank you, Spirit, clarifying the Three of Swords. So in terms of this heartache or whatever it was that happened here, it's coming together with the Card of Convention as well as the Five of Swords. So like Five of Swords is really, I would say, a war of um, crafting, manipulation, smoke and mirrors type of energy. So it just comes across that there was some type of heartache or hurt that had to do. Some of you guys might have been dealing with um, a divorce situation or a parental unit getting divorced or coming undone. 
Um, but there does seem to be something here from your recent past that's clearing up in this last half of the month. So we can get more of that. I'm seeing a lot of movement, actually, physical moving. That's what the Eight of Wands is about. Thank you, Spirit. And we've got the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Wands. I feel like you're going to have to be very careful in terms of where you go next. Like, you're going to have to make some, some decisive action. It's not just about like, oh, you know, wherever. How should I put this? You have to really start planning out what you're going to do as far as this move is concerned. Because I feel like it's going to be happening quick. And I feel like, you know, you're going to have to really get involved and be an active participant in what happens and where you go forward. Because, so for example, if you're living with roommates, it's very possible that the roommates have a different plan to, to live than where you are desiring to go. If you're looking to buy a home or to get an apartment or something like that, you may have to pivot a little bit different because I also feel like your job is going to change and that is going to also dictate where you live. So one moment, I've got the four of cups clarifying actually the four of wands. So again, this is a card of community, commitment, long-term commitment and relationship. And the four of cups is, you know, sour grapes. Like this isn't exactly what I thought. I was hoping for more. And in the traditional deck, the universe hands you a brand new ace, an ace of cups, telling you to keep hope. So this is a new opportunity coming in for you in love, or it could be again, a revision of the script you already had. So if you are in a relationship and you were starting to experience some turbulence, it could be that there is a repair here for that. Now, whether you decide to stay with that or not, actually, again, the sun card at the bottom of the deck, I feel like that's the first thing that I saw. Is that true? Hold on, is that? Oh, now I don't remember, guys, but I feel like the very first thing I had at the bottom of the deck was the sun card, and now at this deck, it's the sun card. I, I don't know if that's the case. I hope so, because I feel like it's going to work out for you. Um, <clears throat> but in this repairing the veil, it could just be that you see marriage differently. I, I don't know, because I am picking up with the card of convention coming in twice, that there are some thoughts, you know, in your mind about your relationship or how you see relationships potentially. One moment. What else do we have here? What Can you clarify the Six of Pentacles, please? Thank you. Six of Pentacles is being clarified by the Hanged Man. That's fascinating. So Six of Pentacles is an equal give and take and all about partnerships. I don't know, Sagittarius. I really see you rethinking your social um, interactions and, you know, your relationships in general. And like I said, I do see you guys actually going to a different job that's more balanced for you. And if you're in school, I do see a lot of things heating up and just being um, very time consuming. So it might be a rebalancing of your social schedule. I just see a lot of responsibilities coming up for you. The hanged man is asking you to create balance in your life by taking a new perspective and seeing these things as challenges that are meant to strengthen you for future tasks that you will be responsible for completing. Best of that's the best thing I can tell you. Let's see. All right. The judgment card. And I see what eight of pentacles, just so you know, eight of pentacles, bottom of the deck. That is school. That's school and studying things that are new and digging your heels into something creative. So you've got a lot on your plate. One moment. Judgment card. Let's clarify that. Thank you. Judgment is being clarified by the five of wands. Again, this is a card of conflict. I feel that you are at a crossroads. You are at a crossroads when it comes to the people closest to you. And in, additionally, I feel like there's a lot of things. It's, it's where you live, who you're around, potentially your relationships. There's a lot of stuff coming up for you this next two weeks, Sagittarius. But you know what? Spirit says, take a deep breath. It's all temporary because we are heading into eclipse season. And this is part of the cosmic game. It's supposed to be happening this way. The full brand new journeys with the King of Pentacles. Yeah, you really are rethinking things. Again, King of Pentacles could also be your job, right? Anything that's your stability. The Pentacles are all about your home, your job, your money, your car, things that are tangible, manifest objects. So the King of Pentacles is very rule oriented, right? He doesn't have a whole lot of, um, not a whole lot of, uh, what's the word, emotion, and is, is very, you know, steadfast, like the rules and the way things are and building the business and doing the thing. 
and I see you taking a brand new perspective on all of it. The full card is starting all the way over with no cares, no attachments, right? You, you are starting brand new without the heaviness of what used to be tying you down. I really see you releasing a lot of things, like especially your perspectives and ideas about stuff. I feel like you've changed a lot um, over the last 18 months, which is great news. So Queen of Swords is being clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. So this tells me that you're letting go of things that are holding you back. So it could very well be, again, this is a job move. So you may just in your mind be thinking, okay, I want to take something different. I want to do it and I'm going to take my time and I'm going to make some choices and changes and I'm going to get rid of that old job that doesn't serve me or I'm going to get rid of those old friends. Like I just see you shedding out of um, past past things in the next two weeks. I feel like it's going to happen very quickly, as a matter of fact. Guys, as I say that, the Eight of Wands, again, the card of movement, taking action, taking forward action, flies out of the different deck. And this card already came up previously when I was saying to you, I see you guys moving, right? So where is that? I know I saw it. Okay, now I can't find it, but I, this is the second time this, saw, this came out. So be prepared by the end of this month, you will already have somewhere, you know, like you were, you'll have it all planned out is how I'm hearing it. I do see you taking action and moving and it's going to happen quick. Anything else out of this deck here? Anything else for the next two weeks? This one? Thank you. Okay, perfect. Thank you, spirit. All right. This is what's going down. This is the devil card. Devil card is a card of mental health. Be mindful of your mental health. Be mindful of the amount of daylight you are getting, be, okay? So if you are a person that deals with seasonal affective disorder, lack of daylight, you tend to keep to yourself, things like that, the devil card is letting you know that there are other ways to handle that. If you start to feel like you're doing isolating behaviors, things like that, then the way to move past that is to find the vibration of fun. So be methodical and recognize your ups and downs, Sagittarius. We are going to, depending on where you live, you could be losing daylight. And I'm also hearing because Mercury is going from retrograde to direct, the energy is really picking up quickly because Mercury is a personal planet, meaning that those energies affect you more, like more so, like personally, they affect you. And you're going to, you're going to feel potentially a little anxious, um, maybe a little less sleep than normal. That's, to be expected. So don't be overwhelmed by that. That's actually the way the cosmic energy is designed because it's giving you that umph as we head towards the full moon in Aries, which is all about your confidence and, you know, to do the next thing. And again, this is about your money and your career and where you're going to go next, things that are in manifest form, what you're studying, all those things are starting to come to a head where you need to make decisions. Also, spirit saying, be mindful of not to overindulge in vices. And again, this has very little to do with personal choice. Um, like the, the desire to want to overindulge or to seclude, that isn't so much a choice. That's cosmically guided. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of energy happening right now. And we're going into Libra season on the 23rd out of Virgo season. That means karmic justice. Things in the, the word is retribution, where you have been wronged potentially or lied to or um, smoke and mirrors, that type of energy, wherever that's been around you, all of that is definitely clearing up. Truth of the matter is coming out on all things that have been, I don't know, actively participating in the shakeup of your life over the last 18 months. You can definitely expect to have clear understandings and revelations before mid-October. That is a true statement. So in terms of this devil energy, the vibration that you want to stick to is the positive of this, which is fun, love, excitement, and curiosity. That's the best part of the devil. Do not get sucked into isolating or, you know, keeping quiet when you wish to speak up. Like your voice and your opinions are necessary because you are part of the collective and you are not meant to seclude. So be mindful of that. All right, so in terms of your love, they want me to check here one second, please. All right, what do you have for Sagittarius in terms of relationships and the next two weeks? One moment, anything else? That one, anything else? 
this one. Thank you. Oh, this one too. All right, guys, one moment. So Sagittarius, we've got the, we've got the Queen of Swords coming out with the Hanged Man, the World card, Four of Pentacles, and the Magician. That's fascinating. All right, so the Queen of Swords again, that's air energy, that is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So you could be dealing with the Gemini, a Libra, and Aquarius, an air energy who leans in their feminine, okay? We've got the Hanged Man. This is all about having a perspective that's a little bit different, handling things a little bit differently, switching up your vibe, switching up the way you look at things. We've got the world card, and this is an ending, a completion of a cycle. So I feel like if you are dealing with an earth sign, I'm sorry, well, you might be now that that came out of nowhere, but <clears throat> I feel like you've got some things coming to an end and it's not necessarily the relationship, but it might be the way you perceived it or the way the, um, the way you want to move forward with it. I don't know. So I'm picking up like maybe, um, you guys are making a, a, a bold move forward in your relationship, right? And maybe redefining it. Like you might be finding yourself in the energy of a new title. So maybe you were just friends and now you're boyfriend, girlfriend or girlfriend, girlfriend, whatever, you know, I'm not judging. It doesn't matter to me. Or you could be a fiance or a husband, wife, whatever. I feel like your title is changing in, amongst your relationships because I see that something is coming to an end. And the Four of Pentacles has to do with your home life as well. And the Magician has to do with making something happen, taking action to create what it is that you want. So for some of you, you might be finding that you're spending more time with a significant other and, um, you know, maybe considering what the future looks like with the two of you um, in terms of housing. But that is something that's down the line. So I feel like... Um, you know, it, it is just some things, there are a lot of changes going on and that you are feeling rather guarded is what I'm picking up. So let me check here. Anything that you want me to clarify? Spirit? Yes. Where is it? Thank you. All right. Tell me more. Okay. In terms of Sagittarius with this. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? This one, these two. Thank you. All right, Sagittarius again, Eight of Pentacles, the card of school, convention, and I've got the five, the, okay, one second. Eight of Pentacles, the High Priest, the Tower card, and Six of Cups. One moment. Whenever I see the High Priest, I always look at that as religion, spirituality, a mentor, could be a father figure, a, a male energy that you lean towards for guidance. And I feel like there is some disruption there that has to do with something from the past because we're looking at the Six of Cups. And then I also got the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like, again, that you, you have a new perspective and you've been really studying, um, what's this? You've been focused. You've been focused. You've been potentially in school or learning a new skill. And I just feel like that has been um, driving you mostly for the last several months. And now that there is, I feel like, I don't know, there's so much planetary energies. Like I said, things are coming to a head. There is disruption. And I do feel like it has to do with the male um, or someone that you go to for guidance. You could be finding out information with something that happened in the past, or this could be um, a friend or someone from the past where there is some disruption. So Let's see, Spirit is saying, again, lean into the vibration of forgiveness because people do the best they can at the times with the information they have. So, you know, again, when things happen, they aren't happening to you. They could be happening for you or it could have very little to do with you, period. Six of Pentacles comes up again. It's about equal give and take and being balanced in your perspectives, perceptions, and actions. All right. There are three sides to every story and spirit saying, remember that as you approach this forgiveness, because you do have a shakeup coming in, you are going to be seeing things differently. And that is all part of this lunar energy that we've been experiencing and the cosmic energy ahead with the, um, the nodes of fate going, you know, they're in Aries and Libra. There's a lot of justice happening and karmic retributions. So 
In terms of your love life, there may be some renegotiating as you step into a different phase of what that looks like for you. If you're already in a relationship, it may need that it may be that you need to step back a little bit and just, you know, refocus your energies because there is so much happening for you at the end of the month. Remember to ask for help and also to speak your mind and release the emotions so that you don't lean into a negative vibration of the devil where it's overwhelm and mental, you know, stress and barriers. You do have the opportunity to start doing things differently to generate different results for yourself. Spirit says make sure to ask for angelic assistance during this time. So let's call on that and see what you can do, Sagittarius, as you move forward. One moment. Thank you, Spirit says, take a step back. It literally, I, I spoke it into existence. Take a step back. Thank you, angels, for helping me to step back from what's not serving me. That Queen of Swords energy again. If it doesn't serve you, cut it off and find what makes you feel lighter, happier, less stressed. Where do you feel at ease? No matter what that is, find more of it because that is going to lead you to a place of peace and understanding so that you can release anything that is taking you out of balance. Woof! I love this for you. It's a busy couple of weeks ahead, but this is working out for you. Once you are through this hoop, you will be in a different place altogether before you know it. Lots of ease coming your way once we head into March of next year, but until then, it's all good. You've just got to focus on what it is that you want and step away from anything that allows you to be in your head too much or put you in a position of doubt, all right? All right, guys, thank you so much. Again, please feel free to head over to my Instagram and join, um, you know, not join, but head over to my Instagram channel where you can enter to win a free reading. Same with the community tab. Please hit that like button, you know, share, like, subscribe, all the stuff, comment below. It really, really helps my channel grow. And if you wanna continue to see this content, it would be most appreciated. All right, guys, thank you so much. Remember, we're doing the best we can. We are stars from the sky with feet on the ground. So may the magic that we weave and the words that we speak bring healing to all those who seek it. And until next time, Sagittarius, shine brightly.